everyone this is your dietitian Aisha Siddiqui and today we are going to discuss in detail about erectile dysfunction its symptoms causes diagnosis test treatment prevention lifestyle modifications and dietary recommendations as well I think as men it's uh, normal to occasionally have trouble getting or maintaining an erection however if you frequently find it difficult to get an erection or to maintain a firm enough erection to have sex you might have erectile dysfunction so the first question arises here what is an erectile dysfunction erectile dysfunction is the inability to get and keep an erection firm enough for the sexual intercourse and the estimates suggest that one of the every 10 men will suffer from erectile dysfunction at some point during his lifetime now it is very important to understand that in most cases ed is a symptom of another underlying problem underlying medical health condition and uh, other psychological conditions as well and ed is not considered normal at any age and may be associated with other problems that interfere with sexual intercourse such as the lack of desire problem with um, and ejaculation as well i have enlisted three symptoms uh, trouble getting an erection trouble keeping an erection and reduce desire. The third thing is the causes of erectile dysfunction. ED can be caused by a num number of factors including vascular disease, neurological disorders such as multiple sclerosis, physiological states, trauma uh, and uh, operation for the prostate cancer, bladder or colon cancer as well. Vascular disease. For, uh, blood supply to the penis can uh, become blocked uh, or na narrowed as a result of vascular disease such as atherosclerosis hardening of the arteries uh, then we are going towards the neurological disorder uh, such as multiple sclerosis and uh, nerves that uh, send impulses to the penis can become damaged from stroke diabetes and other uh, metabolic disorders as well psychological state these in include stress depression anxiety lack of st stimulus from the brain and per uh, performance anxiety and trauma, any injury uh, could contribute to uh, the symptoms of erectile dysfunction that uh, sometimes you are uh, taking any medication and uh, that medication can cause erectile dysfunction. I have listed some uh, in which uh, there are diuretic spills that cause uh, increased urine flow, antihypertensive, uh, the medication which, which has been prescribed in the treatment of uh, high blood pressure, antihistamines, antiallergic, antidepressants, uh, Parkinson's disease drugs and uh, uh, tranquilizers, muscle relax relaxant, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and uh, histamine H2 receptor antagonist hormones, chemotherapy medicine, prostate cancer, colon cancer, anti-seizure medicines. These are some of the medicines which are responsible for erectile dysfunction, which can be responsible for dysfunction. Uh, there are some other substances or drugs that may cause erectile dysfunction like alcohol consumption, cocaine consumption, marijuana consumption, nicotine, opiates. They can also uh, cause erectile dysfunction as well. Um, now the next thing is we are going uh, to uh, discuss about the diagnosis and test of erectile dysfunction. Here are different kind of tests which can be performed. First of all, uh, your health practitioner will perform physical exam and uh, uh, he or she may uh, ask you certain uh, different type of questions like uh, what med medication or drug are you currently using? Have you had any psychological problems such as the stress, anxiety, depression? When did you first notice your symptom of ED? What are the frequency, quality and the duration of any erection you have had? And uh, what are the specific uh, phases of uh, circumstances under which ED first occurred? What sexual technique do you use and uh, are there problems in your current relationships? After all this, um, your physical examination and discussion, your doctor may then uh, order any one of the following tests to further diagnose your condition. Uh, the first thing is complete blood count. This is the set of the blood set uh, test that uh, among other things can detect the presence of anemia. Anemia is uh, caused by a low red blood cell count and can cause fatigue which in turn cause erectile dysfunction. The second is, uh, thing is liver and kidney function tests. These blood tests may indicate whether ED may be due to your kidney or liver function um, functioning improperly. Lipid profile uh, test. 
and this blood test measures the level of uh, lipids fat like cholesterol high levels may indicate the atherosclerosis hardening of the arteries which can affect blood circulation in the penis thyroid function test uh, the next one is one of the uh, thyroid hormone function is to regulate the production of the sex hormone and uh, deficiency in these hormones may contribute to erectile dysfunction blood hormone test testosterone and um, um, or prolactin level in the blood may be a measure to see if the abnormalities in either of these sex hormones are present urine urine analysis analysis of the urine can provide a wealth of information including information on proteins sugar testosterone level abnormal measurement of these substances can indicate diabetes kidney disease or a testosterone defi deficiency all which can cause erectile dysfunction duplex ultrasound this is perhaps the best uh, testing for evaluation of the erectile dysfunction and ultrasound uses high frequency sound waves to take picture of the body's tissue for people with erectile dysfunction an ultrasound may be used to evaluate blood flow and check of for uh, the signs of venous leak uh, hardening of arteries or tissue scarring this test is performed both while the penis is erect usually induced by the injection of a drug that stimulate erection and also while it is soft surgical treatments uh, available for the uh, treatment of erectile dysfunction including uh, education and communication medication mechanical aids penile injection therapy psychology and sex therapies and hormone as well uh, i would like to discuss in depth in depth about the non surgical available treatments uh, for erectile dysfunction education about the sex and sexual behavior and sexual response may help a man overcome his anxieties about sexual dysfunction talking on Honestly, with your partner about your needs and concerns may also help to overcome many barriers to healthy sex life. The second thing is medication. Medications uh, such as Viagra, Levitra, uh, Celiasis may also uh, improve the sexual fu uh, function in men by increasing the blood flow to the penis. And the men who are on medicines that contain nitrates such as the nitroglycerin uh, should not uh, take oral. Um, erectile dysfunction medications mechanical aids uh, aids such as the vacuum devices and penile uh, constriction uh, rings uh, serve as uh, erectile aids for some men penile injection men are uh, taught how to inject medications directly into the erection chamber of the penis to create an erection injection uh, therapy is effective in treating a wide variety of erection issues caused by the blood vessels nerves and psychological conditions using a tiny needle and syringe that may inject a small amount of the medicine into the side of his uh, penis the medicine relaxes the blood vessels allowing allowing blood to flow into the penis this treatment has been widely used and accepted since the early 19, 90, uh, 80s as well. Psychology and uh, sex therapy. Psychological causes may contribute the erectile failure even when there is a clear, uh, clear organic cause. Therapy with a trained counselor can help a person address uh, the feeling of anxiety, depression, fear, guilt that may have an impact on the sexual dysfunction as well. And last but not the, not the least, hormone. Low hormone levels may play a role in erectile dysfunction and hormone replacement in the form of topical gels, creams, patches injections pellets are only used after the physician evaluation as well and uh, now we are going to discuss about the surgical treatments that are available penile prosthesis surgery and inflatable uh, penile processes are implanted during outpatient surgery once they are a part of the man's body they enable him uh, to have an erection whenever he desires the use of a prosthesis preserve penile sensation orgasm and ejaculation for most men now i'm going to discuss about the um, I'm going to recommend some medicines which are uh, very useful in treating erectile dysfunction like Viagra, Levitra, Cialis, Cetendra. They are very useful and they have promising results when you are going to deal with uh, the reversal of erectile dysfunction or the treatment of erectile dysfunction. 
Now I'm going to give you some recommendations, some lifestyle recommendations and uh, dietary recommendations for the treatment and prevention of erectile dysfunction like eating a healthy diet and uh, it plays a very uh, pivotal role uh, when you are going to reverse your signs of erectile dysfunction or uh, when you are dealing with erectile dysfunction. The diet rich in uh, uh, vitamin E, the diet rich in antioxidants, vitamin C, the diet rich in green leafy vegetables like uh, we are going to ingest uh, avocados, bananas, green leafy vegetables, uh, pomegranates, all type of nuts, berries as well. And uh, the second thing is keep your cholesterol level in control uh, by doing regular exercises, by eating a healthy diet, maintaining a healthy weight, uh, the weight uh, which is in your ide uh, ideal body weight category and uh, keep your BMI, body mass index in control as well. recommendations from my side as well. Uh, foods that can help with erectile dysfunction like berries and uh, watermelons, spinach, dark leafy green vegetables, oatmeal, pistachios, walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds, pomegranate juice, avocados. It's all about today's presentation. If you like the content, kindly do like, share and subscribe my channel and see you soon in the next video.